what's up everyone Nene with Nene's Auto and Reviews here and I am reviewing the 2023 Dodge Challenger GT and we are doing the road test right now you guys this is way funner than the, the Charger even though that wasn't fast that was just a basic standard charger but this the gt yes it's not the hellcat but it's the gt and it has some get up looks good it's definitely more spacious than the charger may have a less you know if you're tall you definitely won't have leg room in the back but we'll get to the back in a little bit but i'll show you guys, guys i'm just gonna show you a little bit of a ride the ride and i'm gonna add some music in view it definitely feels comfortable um driving as far as the road i the drive uh feels really comfortable um you're not feeling a lot of the road as much as i did in the charger this actually feels a lot smoother let me see go. Go ahead, yeah. Me putting the window down. You guys, I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of the walk around. I'll show you guys under the hood first. Um, as soon as they scan them, UPS for now. All right, you guys, I'm gonna show you guys under the hood. Okay. All right, so guys, I'll show you guys the trunk show you guys outside and then we'll go back inside they didn't clean the trunk out good but the trunk space it does have a good bit of trunk space for a coupe um, of course not as much as the charger because that was a sedan and then you got that beautiful back on there of course do exhaust it's like a bright orangish reddish color real pretty color stock challenger wheels it has a silver fuel top Show you guys under the hood got the hood scoop and they definitely kept the plastics on you know, on there the orange led lights and low lip on the front all right hinged arms on the hood and of course you know even though they're just for protection but people keep them on there just for the luck the yellow uh guards on the front 3.6 liter vbt and I, I'm sorry, you guys, I forgot to show you guys under the charger, but, it, you know, it was the stock, so regular. It wasn't no special one, so I'm sure y'all have seen it before. But it's everything under the hood. I don't know. Um, this one does not have the sunroof on it. Um, I'll show you guys the wheels again and just the regular little mirrors no sunroof on it as i said i didn't check to see if this one has satellite radio this is the interior inside don't mind the, our stuff right there and you do have the button where you push to unlock if you have the key you have to have the key fob with you of course so you got like i said you got more leg room in the interior in the front than in the back um the back right here see this is about as much leg room as you have i'm not going to climb back there to show you guys so you can fit three smaller people in the back you guys you do have oh i'm sorry ouch i'm hitting my knees on there you got the little uh space right here for wipes and stuff you guys right there little storage so you can keep little papers right there got a cup holders in the door uh yeah i just love the back um 
Oh my god. We just got your standard Challenger um, paddle shifters. Paddle shifters on here. Standard dashboard, rear view camera. You have your push to start. It's the regular standard radio um, that all the challengers have. And then it does have the same, I'm not gonna show you guys all the same, it has all the same connections that the Dodge Charger have. Of course your key fob. Your key fob does have to be in here um, for you to uh, start the vehicle. So if you don't have your key fob, you will get an indication up there on a dash telling you, let me buckle up. telling you that your key fob is not in the vehicle so always make sure you take your key fob with you in and out of the vehicle and then you have standard dome lights up there and then little I like to call them reading lights up there and I'll show you guys also inside of the glove box just a little bit of space basics you know glove box you don't want to see them all and then you have two cup holders right here. Same gear as the charger. Wait, let me see. And you do have your little storage, little storage space down in here. Manuals, your insurance card, you know, all of that good stuff down in there, your registration. And you do have some charger ports down there, USB cigarette uh, port down in there. And they don't keep them up here no more. And then a little spot to keep the key fob. You do have a little storage right there on the poxy pocket. You do have, so you would have to set your drinks to the side back there. There is no cup holder. During the Challenger, you're not really expected, you know, to have any passengers in the back. Unless you have little kids that, you know, and you're gonna ride in it. But it does have some get up. I don't know if you guys can hear that outside, but uh, the sunglass storage. If you're like me and you always have to have your shades you're definitely gonna make use of that so if you want to change out to you know if a pair of sunglasses or you know take your eyeglasses off and put your sunglasses on then that's for you but it definitely rides pretty good beautiful color um, and you guys yeah I will show you guys the uh, outside again um, but I'm gonna be going ahead and wrapping this up. Not much really to, you know, talk about. You know, you guys have seen plenty of challenge reviews, but this is my review, so I have to give it to you guys. So let me let you guys hear this again. And that scoop is beautiful in there. So. No. I know I said you can't really hit the gas. And yeah, also, oh, you know. Also, if you're not subscribed, you guys, help me out. Hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up. And again, this is my review of the 2022 Dodge Challenger. It's like, um, I will say like a bright orange, almost a, um, but it's not really a burnt, it's darker. It's kind of like a reddish orangish kind of like mixed color. And there, <laughs> great outside from outside because the air, you guys. But it got a little, little, little roar to it a little bit. It's not going to be as much as you know the Hellcat and all of that. But this was a another upgrade. My husband got it was supposed to be he was supposed to be getting a pickup truck, but they gave him this. So it's awesome. I got to be able to get this review in. So, um, I would definitely um, buy one of these. So, you know, it's. I wouldn't say this is like, you know, some people probably do daily drive, but I wouldn't say, oh, you know, get a Challenger to daily drive. But then again, it probably is no, you know, worse on gas than any other, you know, uh, any sedan. So, I mean, if that's what you want, then that's what you want, you know, to daily drive. Some people do daily drive, you know, these driving to work and, maybe their only vehicle so 
there's nothing wrong with it so it's no different than if somebody's getting a dodge charge or the daily drive so yeah i definitely would recommend this one if you do have a bunch of kids obviously this is not for you because you're you're not gonna be able to fit them comfortably in the back as you guys seen um if you have any if you have like all teenagers then and that's your only vehicle i wouldn't recommend this because they're not gonna have leg room in the back um so yeah but other than that i i do love the car and it it, it definitely has a lot of pickup and it's comfortable on the road i would say it's more comfortable than the corolla if you haven't watched that review go back and check out my view and, and the Passat and all of that but uh yeah you guys that's gonna be the end i will um end it out with a, another walk around but uh i'll catch you guys on the next one all right you guys so we'll do the last little walk around so i love the mirrors they remind me of, like giant ears or something like that that look all right, y'all, leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this Challenger. It is dirty some. <laughs> I do not like that silver gas cap, though. I would have went with the same color as a car or at least a black one. So...